proper handling of um, oxygen infused kundalini life force can be compared to how one would handle electricity. Now would you just go into an electrical box or into the wires in your house and just start fooling around with stuff when you don't know what you're doing? You've had no education. You haven't cracked a book open about electrical work, how it works, how it operates, how you um, keep it from killing you. And uh, um, would you do that? No, you wouldn't do that. So um, it's the same thing when you go to your kundalini. It's the electrical box of the house. And if you go down there and you start flipping switches on and off, not knowing what you're doing and some of that energy shoots up through your system, then maybe something will happen to you. Now before I really started to seriously handle kundalini, infuse it with oxygen and make it pliable for um, bringing up through the central channel, Before when I was doing yoga, I wasn't doing that, but once I started to do that, I started off with the locks. My teacher taught me the locks from the from the first, from the beginning. So um, I never was in a position where I was manipulating my kundalini or the kundalini of others without the proper application of the locks, because that's the only thing. <laughs> On a very basic level, the locks are the only thing that are going to keep you from spazzing out and electrocuting yourself. There's so much education that has to go into um, wiring a house and the proper um, understanding of an electrical box in the house. And it's a house. And those are wires. That is gross, physical, elemental material. We're talking about the wiring of your psychic house. Imagine what that wiring is like. And if you as the core self, who is often quite ignorant and um, impulsive, doesn't always properly think things through, or utilize the equipment that it has to find out about stuff and properly educate itself before fooling around in its environment. Imagine what the wiring in that psychic house is like and imagine the education that you would need to know and understand on a very mystic level to be authorized or um, prepared for Kundalini rise. You're gonna send a jolt of electricity through your entire house. And if you don't understand the locks and you don't understand the mind and you don't understand Pratyahara, um, you could send that electricity into parts of the house that it will blow to pieces. It will blow that wiring to pieces and you will not be able to repair it. Maybe you can repair it sometimes. But other times, there's always the possibility that it will be irreparable damage. Anytime we're fooling around with electricity. Electricity is like mystic fire. So you're playing with fire. Um, so, get it right, get it tight. If you're going to fool around with Kundalini, don't be ignorant about it. Learn, study the books, study the Hatha Yoga Pradapika, study the Yoga Sutras, study the Bhagavad Gita, practice every day, meditate every day, practice Pratyahara 24-7, begin to sense out yourself as the core self, your personal will as a spiritual entity, and your um, capacity to take over the mind and the body <clears throat> to the extent 
that you can stop them from doing things that are not in the best interests of your spiritual awareness of yourself and your ability to figure out what you're supposed to do next, your dharma. Still going. I can't believe it. Um, so this will be a good, the kundalini, the electrical box of your psychic house.